This is KCBD Sports from the Lubbock National Bank Sports Desk. Hey, Sportacular Thursday to you. Extra inning playoffs, five area softball squads, 13 area baseball teams still playing. Weather causing issues tonight, but some still played, including the ladies. New Mexico State softball tournament, second seed Lovington facing Aztec in the first round of the championship. Beautiful weather in Cleveland, New Mexico. Lady Cats get the swinging strikeout. Then Lovington trailing ball gets away from the catcher. She'll throw to third, but it's offline and Angelina Corral will come on in. But Lovington fell six to four to drop to the losers brackets. Double elimination in New Mexico. So Lovington faces Sing Bernalillo. Elimination game. Look at the backdrop. Lovington Zabri Rodriguez with the base hit. That's going to bring in Honey Morales. Then Layla Hernandez with a blast that's going to go off the wall. Two run score on the double. Lovington wins it 7 2. Second seeded Wildcats face fifth seeded Artesia. 9 a.m. tomorrow. Another elimination game. Extra innings team of the week, Littlefield Baseball facing Shallow Water at Lubbock Cooper. Top of the first, two on, one out for Brendan Bowman. He'll fly out to right for the second out of the top of the first, and that's when they got a lightning strike. That suspended play, Mother Nature said you're not going to play tonight. They now resume noon tomorrow for game one at Lubbock Cooper. Sundown. New home over at Friendship trying to beat the rain. Second inning tied at one. Hunter Burrell sending a two-run hit into center. That gave a 3-1 lead to the Leopards. Same score now in the third. And it's Cooper Brown taking it to right center. Future Red Raider Logan Addison coming in. 4-1 Leopards. New home with some momentum on its side. Mason Turnbow shot to center going off the outfielder's glove. Brown comes in. They had a weather delay. They just resume play. New home leading at 9-2 in the seventh. Game two, 2 p.m. tomorrow. Ropes. Clarendon. Game one in Plainview. Pick it up in the seventh. Two outs for Ropes. Solid hit, but Mason Allred going to get it. Make the throw to first. The Broncos still alive. They're down 1 0. Bottom of the seventh. Clarendon first and second. All red bunts. Bodie Franklin right there gets the lead runner at third. He's out. That's a huge out. Last ditch effort now. Harrison Howard to second. Braden Hogg throws to first. Ropes wins game one, one to nothing behind Bodie Franklin's two hitter, 14 strikeouts. Game two, 10 a.m. Friday in Plainview. We're after 30.